Hi everyone, Dennis Foley with Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about golden ratios. I get this a lot on your room forms. I've subscribed to Bolt or Vanilla or Loudon's golden ratio. Okay, great. Those are ratios that do what? Okay, let's look at a definition. Basically, they're ratios that space the modal frequency, the unwanted modal frequency, low frequency pressure issues at five cycles or five hertz or greater. Because from a treatment standpoint, treating coincidental modes that are close within five hertz of each other is a larger task. Can be done, but requires more treatment and it has to be more specific and localized in certain areas of the room. So if we can come up with ratios that don't have coincidental modes or have fewer coincidental modes, it makes our job of treatment a lot easier, okay? So what we have to remember in all small rooms is that you have to treat. Low frequency energy takes 12 to 16 inches. What's middle and high frequency energy take? Two, three, four, five? Okay, so middle and high frequency energy can take two to five inches. So these dimensions then have to be calculated in to the golden ratio you've chosen in the beginning. Because none of these golden ratios have any space requirements indicated for treatment. They're just rough calculations. So they're good to use as guidelines, but let's add a caveat. Use them as guidelines and then don't forget to add 12 inches to the 12 inches to the width, 12 inches to length. So if you started out with a 19 wide by 10 foot high, oh, let's dream a little, let's do 11, uh, by 15 foot long, okay, then, you know, it's not really 19 foot wide, it's 19 minus 2, which is 17, okay? It's not really 15 long, it's 13 because we had to add a foot to each side. So now take your new dimension, 17, 11, and 13, and see if that's a golden ratio. It may not be. So you gotta kinda do two sets of calculations with these golden ratios. They're good to use as guidelines, but it's not the end, okay? And it's okay to use those on your room form. I'm building a new room, and here's the dimensions I, I have. I would rather you say, here's the largest footprint, Dennis, that I have to work with. Because of building codes, because of lot size, or whatever the restriction is, okay? Because of the WAF factor, all kinds of issues. So use them as guidelines. They're good starting points if you don't have any ideas, but I would rather see the largest footprint you have to work with. Give me that width, height, and length and let me choose the dimensions that work best for your usage. So give me the biggest area we have to work with and then I'll kind of fine tune it down to what we need. So golden ratios, good start, but they don't take into consideration room treatment. So just follow this little suggestion here and we'll, we'll at least have a good starting point. Hope this helps, thank you. Thank you for watching this video and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis so that'll help you. Thank you.